The Korean government is stepping up safety checks in response to calls for tighter inspection and handling of entertainment facilities, which have been prone to man-made disasters recently. Our cultural correspondent Kim ji hyun reports. Safety first. That sentiment has gripped the nation after a series of shocking disasters over the past year. A family of five, including three children, died at a camping site last month when their tent caught on fire. Sixteen people fell to their deaths while watching an outdoor concert on top of a ventilation grate that collapsed, dropping them 25 meters. And of course, the tragic Seroho Ferry incident that killed more than 300 people, mostly high school students. Many believe that systematic safety checks could have decreased or prevented the severity of these tragedies. Now the government is starting to take a proactive approach to disaster prevention. The culture minister is inspecting the safety standards of entertainment facilities, like this camping site, ahead of the first public safety day to be marked on Thursday. Currently, there are an estimated 1,900 outdoor camping facilities in Korea, with more opening and the numbers are growing rapidly. Some are even equipped with refrigerators and heating systems, but many of them lack adequate safety equipment, such as fire extinguishers and hoses, due to their unconventional settings. The cultural minister Kim jong dok says that's going to change. Outdoor facilities will be subject to periodic safety inspections and the Tourism Promotion Act, which took effect last January. If these measures are not met by next February, those responsible could be held up to two years behind bars or fined about 18,300 U.S. dollars. Kim says his ministry will conduct a nationwide safety inspection of outdoor facilities by the end of the month. Kim Jeong, Arirang News.